Hi, welcome back to Musician's Edition for alto saxophone. Today we are playing in the Standard of Excellence book one and today's the moment a lot of you have been waiting for, Saw Creek Mill. All right, so this song is usually one that is set as a performance one. Um, there is a piano accompaniment, but unfortunately due to copyright, I'm not going to be able to play that or show that with you. But this should at least get you comfortable enough to playing it and knowing what the song sounds like. All right, so the first two measures we have are rests. So that's just going to be the piano accompaniment. And you can tell because the piano accompaniment is actually written in our music. So you see here where it says piano and then it shows the piano music. So you can kind of follow along and see what they're doing. All right, so let's first take a look at what we're doing. So let's look at our key signature. What key signature are we in? C, we have no sharps, no flats. Tell me about our time signature. We're in 4-4, four, four, so four beats in our measure. All right, so we have our two rests. So let's now look at measure three. Let's look at three until six, or the end of six, okay? So first, let's look at our dynamics. What dynamic are we in? Piano, so we're gonna be quiet, okay? And then we have the repeat at the end of measure six. Where does that repeat take us to? That one does not take us to the beginning. It takes us to measure three. So we're gonna play that twice. So let's just play that section without the repeat right now. Let's just play measure three to the end of six. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. You already know this is going to be a fun piece now, don't you? All right, so let's play that again. This time, let's do the repeat, but we're not going to take the second repeat, so we're going to stop at the end of five, because remember, we have the second ending here. So that means when we repeat, we're going to skip over measure six and go to seven. So right now, we're going to play through, repeat, stop at the end of measure five. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. So this is where we would go to measure seven now, because it's the second ending. So let's just do that one real quick. Just measure seven. Ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right. So now let's do that section. So we're going to start at measure three, we're going to repeat, and we're going to take the second ending. So stop at measure eight. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's continue on. So our dynamic has now changed. It actually changes towards the end of measure seven. The two eighth notes, we become what? Forte, we're going to start playing loud. Great. All right, so I don't think we have anything too crazy, but measure 15, take a look at that. We now have an accidental. So that F is now an F sharp. All right, let's play measure eight to the end of 15. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. 
Perfect. All right, you might have struggled a little bit with measure 15. So let's take a look at that one. Okay, so let's just slow that down. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. And just to take note um, of our slurs and our tonguing, because I haven't mentioned that at all, so we need to pay attention to that. So it's ta, 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 ta. And that's what a lot of that is too. Ta, 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 ta. Okay? All right, so let's do measure 15 again, a little faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. A little faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. Wonderful. All right, let's do measure eight all the way to into 15 again. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. Now, if you're struggling through any of this, just remember you are in control. So you can always take your metronome, practice with the metronome, slow it down, do the sections you need to. But hopefully this will just get you going to where you know what it sounds like and how to do certain things. All right, so then 16 and 17, we're resting again for two measures. Then we're gonna go on to 18. And you know what? I think we can do 18 to the end, to be honest. So why don't we do that? 18 to the end. Okay, we're ready? And this is marked forte, so we're still remaining loud. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. Did you catch the accents at the end? Ta, ta. So remember to punch those, but keep your tone good. We don't want any squeaking. All right, let's do that section one more time before we do the whole thing. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. All right, I think we are ready to play through the whole thing. So what we're going to do, we're just going to start at measure three and play all the way through. Do the repeats at 16 and 17. We are going to count for those measures. All right, ready? Measure three. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. How did you do? Great. Let's do it one more time so we can really feel confident and good about it because we have to be confident and good about it when the piano part is here. That way we know what we're doing. All right, but this time we're going to count those first two measures. We're going to start from the very beginning. 
All right, here's our count off. Ready? One, two, three, four. job. If you end up performing this or getting a piano accompaniment to help you through this, I would love to see how far you've come. So you could always share your videos with us through Facebook, Instagram, email, whichever. I would love to see you perform this piece. All right, but if you don't want to show it, that's okay too. <laughs> it's up to you. All right. Well, if you have any questions about the piece or anything saxophone related, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for joining and until next time.